I did not share it. With your ghostwriter. With my ghostwriter. Bro, not. what is Guaranteed he doing? Not. Dude, Dude Dark Brandon Unleashed? Bro, this is like when I start yelling at all my haters and pull them up to debate them. Have you seen this about Biden? The report on Biden's handling of classified documents predicts that a jury wouldn't convict him because it would find him a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Oh, wait, what? I've never been more vindicated in my entire life. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are the libtards now? Where are the liberals now? I am so goddamn vindicated. Oh my God. Hassan, there's a massive crime wave. Why are you pro crime? Vindicated. Turns out everybody was lying about it. Just like I said, there's a massive problem with immigration. How do we deal with immigration? Vindicated. I can't believe you're saying Joseph Robinette Brandon is demented. Turns out he is so goddamn demented that a Jury saw that too. Special counsel Robert Hur says that there's evidence President Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified materials, but he will not be charged. We also have considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview of him as a sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory, it said. Based on our direct interactions and our observations of him, he is someone who many jurors will want to identify reasonable doubt. It would be difficult to convince a jury that they should convict them by then a former president well into his 80s of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. Oh my God dude. They said he's literally too old to do crime. Remember what I've talked about before with like old people? There's like a certain age that if you're above that and you do a crime, you should be able to get away with it because it's like a baby doing a crime. This is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is literally at that stage in his life. It's babies and it's old people. When you get to that certain point and you have the mechanical skills of a baby and your brain is like withered away that you are like a baby with a baby brain, Joe Biden is literally at that stage in his life oh my god it's so sick it's so sick how does that not legally disqualify you from being the president look the most charitable interpretation of this special counsel report is that biden is playing it up for a jury that's what liberals will probably say but god damn dude steve deuce is gonna take his out and the paper that this 345 page justice department finding okay brian killed me is gonna be like let me it after you, Steve Douchey. They're literally going to go nutty mode on it. Jesse Waters has already locked himself into a hyperbaric chamber, jerking off, masturbating piece by piece. Every single one of them has paper cuts on their penises, okay? Holy moly. Oh my God. I can't wait to see what the Fox 5 have to say about this, dude. Jesus Christ. The person on the cuck chair today at Fox 5 is not going to have a good time, okay? It's bukkake time. How much do you think the story will come up during the election year? The Biden broken brain problem well considering that it's joseph robinette biden's number one issue this is literally like the republicans abortion issue you know what i mean democrats have one issue that they can always hammer on this election cycle and possibly in perpetuity that issue is abortion republicans cut off access to abortion they will always hit that vein every single time for the republicans they can always say biden is senile biden is senile biden is dumb biden is stupid and it's true how long until the liberals start saying wow you must be one vladimir putin backed and two backed by the MAGA party because you are also saying that biden is senile by the way how much you want to bet that that is what's going to happen this report is actually insane let's go to cnn to see how they're covering let's go to fox news to see how they're eh, let's go to cnn first i have to see what they're saying about this trump repeatedly given the chance to cooperate in his investigation did not that is not what happened with biden but there's another part here, which is, does this politically invalidate that case? And that- God, Republicans are so good at like showing liberal hypocrisy. They're gonna eat this up. If he willfully retained classified documents, okay, and then he gave it up when the investigators were like, let's get your documents. What's happening? Are there any classified documents here? Yes, he's like one step above Donald Trump, who very stupidly decided not to do that for some weird reason, which I still do not understand. Stand. I mean, there are more than just six or seven oh, different so examples of him not remembering. Oh. And just to oh. this week, as Sean's point was, oh. you know, he's not doing a Super Bowl interview. He's not giving press conferences. The former president sat in front of the cameras today and gave an entire news conference oh, on, on what he thinks the, the Supreme I'm Court busting. decision is going to mean for him. And we haven't heard from Joe Biden in quite some time. So it's I'm hard busting. to make I'm I'm, for the, for the country bust. to believe the argument that he's sharp I'm as busting. attack. I'm and when you read this and you hear some of the current statements and the absolute fact that he's not going to go before the country and answer a few questions from CBS, which is not going to exactly throw him uh, Nolan Ryan curveballs. I'm not going to lie. This is like way, way chill.
killer than I thought. I thought they would be going dicko mode. I thought they'd be going sicko mode and dicko mode at the same time. It feels like CNN is going harder than Fox it's not News. not pretty in the Department of Justice either. But the considerations as to why you're going to encase that sausage are all about how you can prove your case. And cooperation goes a very long way. Why? Not because it's a way of sort of kissing up, but because it undermines before a jury the notion that somebody is intentionally engaged in behavior that was nefarious and criminal. Look, my assessment of this is that liberals will say, like the defense of this will be, oh, they're not saying he's senile. They're saying he's well-intentioned and he comes across as like a kind, loving old man. And that's the reason why there would be reasonable doubt. And it's actually Republican framing and Republican propaganda to like claim senility. That's what I would say. If I'm a DNC PR person, I'm turning around Around, one getting mad at every single person uh, even bringing this up because it's like it's very obvious to me that you guys are you know it's it's nine o'clock kremlin time it seems oh uh, what happened did the tucker carlson interview not satisfy your needs for vladimir putin's and then I'm turning around and saying that it's not actually that he's senile. He just like reads as that in a courtroom. And that's enough of a legal standard for reasonable doubt. We compare this most directly with the images we've seen from the Mar-a-Lago case, the positioning of the documents, the accessibility to people from the Mar-a-Lago resort and beyond. And while I hesitate to compare these two cases directly, how can one help but do so in this instance? God damn, dude. God damn. Well, Trump put his documents on a stage. Obviously, the difference between like Trump and Biden is that Donald Trump refused after they found out that he still retained classified documents. That's the major difference here. Once the federal government came and was like, you have these documents, we want them. Trump was like, sure, I'll give them to you. And then didn't, right? and lied and actively obstructed justice and actively obstructed the investigation. Trump is still comically guilty in this situation. Biden, on the other hand, immediately was like, go ahead, take all the documents. I don't give a like he opened up all of the doors and allowed the investigators to go in and take all the documents and make an assessment. Same with Mike Pence. So the major difference there is that he cooperated with the government and gave up all of the documents that he had because it's supposed to be like a lighter criminal punishment if any criminal punishment is given at all. So Mike Pence and Joe Biden cooperated. Trump did it. That's the major difference here. But I think that what is more important in this situation, what they found is that he did actually retain classified documents. There was suspicion of, for sure. However, no charges will be given to Joe Biden, which comes across to a lot of dummies as though there is like a two-tier justice system. Like, oh, I can't believe that there's no charges. But worst of all, not only are there no charges, part of the reasoning for why there are no charges is because they claim that Joe Biden, while looking careless, would come across as too senile and too well-intentioned to a jury where there would be too much reasonable doubt. It's the worst of all worlds. The best of all worlds would be Biden is actually mentally cognizant, mentally coherent, but also he didn't have any classified materials. No charges because this is just what you do when you discover classified documents or just saying specifically that like, yes, of course, no charges because like he didn't know that he had it, right? And same with Mike Pence. If they found classified documents in Mike Pence's hands, they're not gonna convict him either because he cooperated. Whereas with Trump, the major problem is they were like, hey, you have classified documents. We want them back. First, he was like, no. Then he was like, sure. And then he just like retained some of those documents and refused to give them back. For what reason? I do not know. I suspect it was because he's a hoarder and he wanted to like flex to Kid Rock, as I said, even back then, which is pretty funny and really stupid. I brought this up when the document saga was first popping off where I told you like, this is something that a lot of presidents do and that it is like reasonable for someone to like bring classified documents. What is not reasonable is when the federal government asks for said documents back and you just refuse to give them back. That's the area where it is not reasonable. And that's precisely what's going on. That's the major difference here between the Biden case and I guess the Trump case. And not just the Biden case, but also the Mike Pence case. Like nobody's talking about Michael Pence. Why is nobody talking about Michael Pence? What happened to Michael Pence? Well, what happened to Michael Pence is the exact same thing that happened to Joe Biden. They got hit with the top of the hour ad break and they did not have a subscription to the Hassan Abbey broadcast. Mike Pence was under the same scrutiny and had that same exact investigation that Joe Brandon went under at the same time, as a matter of fact, for classified documents. And they went to his house as well and they retrieved a bunch of documents. I don't know if they actually found any classified documents, but you know, that is the same exact thing that happened with Joe Biden. Her writes that Biden's practices present serious risk to national security and then Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified materials after his vice presidency. Her writes because the box was damaged and not able to 
properly packaged classified material, the agents transferred its contents to a new box for transport. The photographs below show the contents of the garage box in the original box and the new box. The facts first folder contained over 200 pages of documents related from the fall of 2009 Afghanistan policy review with a date range approximately August through October 2009. Her writes that Biden did not remember when he was vice president, forgetting on the first day of the interview when his term ended. He did not remember even within several years when his son Bo died. In an added letter at the end of the report, Biden lawyer Bob Bauer and special counsel Richard Sauber wrote, we do not believe that the report's treatment of President Biden's memory is accurate or appropriate. The report uses highly prejudicial language. Excuse me, you are now looking at give horse in the mouth and saying, I don't like the teeth. These mother like, hey, we got away with this. We got away with retaining classified documents. And this is part of the reason why this was brought forward as like a reason as to why we shouldn't even prosecute. We shouldn't even like, you know, bring forward charges because like juries will look at us like we're Meanwhile, while well, that's one of the reasons why they didn't even press charges, big homie's saying that's a f***ed up way. So what do you want? You want the smoke or not? Do you want them to press charges then? That's crazy. Anyway, Bauer letter continued. In fact, there is ample evidence from your interview that the president did, a, did well in answering your questions about the years old events over the course of five hours. His interview began the day after the October 7 attacks. Oh, dude, he was emotional after October 7. That's why he couldn't answer uh, properly on when his son died. You don't understand. Your Honor, I was feeling emotional. Back to her's report. Mr. Biden's memory was significantly limited, both during his recorded interviews with the Ghost Rider in 2017 and his interview in our office in 2023. Okay? Holy moly. And his cooperation with our investigation, including by reporting to the government that the Afghanistan documents were in his Delaware garage will likely convince some jurors that he made an innocent mistake rather than acting willfully that is with the intent to break the law as the statute requires I think that's also another big component here that we must not forget and that is that there needs to be a willful intent to retain classified documents and that you can't chalk it up as a mistake wait so they concede he wasn't willful no he's saying he's saying that because they cooperated with the investigation and literally told the government that he had the Afghan documents documents in his Delaware garage, he didn't have willful intent to break the law. If he obstructed justice deliberately, even like charges that you can hit him on with obstruction of justice, you can't really do that because he comes across as like too sympathetic of a criminal for a jury because they'll say, oh, he's old and uh, doesn't remember a lot of stuff. But in areas where he does remember he took uh, and, and retained classified documents, he's openly cooperating with the investigators to say, go ahead, take it. I have it in my house, in my Delaware house. I have these documents. Her right it would be difficult to convince a jury they should convict him by then a former president who will be at least well into his 80s of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. Third, as discussed to some extent above, Mr. Biden will likely present himself to the jury as he did during his interview with our office as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. While he is and must be accountable for his actions, he is, after all, the president of the United States. Based on our direct observations of him, Mr. Biden is someone for whom many jurors will want to search for a reasonable doubt. It would be difficult to convince the jury they should convict him by then a former president who will be at least well into his 80s of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. His defense is basically when he's lucid, he cooperates. And yes, when he's not lucid, it comes across as sympathetic to a jury, which will definitely find reasonable doubt. Because the point is, did he retain classified documents with malicious intent, knowing full well that he was in violation of the law? Or was he not doing that? And they're saying that this does not, this is not like an easy to prove case because of how old he is. And because he also cooperated with the investigation Law tip. This basically goes to the insanity defense, wherein a defendant may assert the defense if they did not appreciate the wrongfulness of their conduct due to their mental state. This report basically is saying that Biden was so demented that he literally didn't know he was doing crime. That person also has the nuclear codes, by the way. I don't even I don't think that they're saying that he was so demented that he didn't know he was doing the crime. I think they're saying that he will come across uh, so demented, or rather he'll come across positive in the eyes of a jury. Considering that this isn't like a super high crime, I guess, like super, super severe crime, they're chalking it up as like, he's an old guy, it'd be too hard to convict. Special counsel Herr said Biden had diminished faculties and faulty memory in their interview. Given the intelligence military officials present and the topics discussed at the meetings, Mr. Biden encounters Zwodnitzer. Mr. Biden would have realized that his notes did or were likely to contain classified information, but taken as a whole, the evidence will likely leave jurors with a reasonable doubt about whether Mr. Biden knew he was sharing classified information with Zwonitzer and intended to do so. Mr. Biden's apparent lapses and failures in February and April 2017 will likely appear consistent with the diminished faculties and faulty memory he showed in the Zwonitzer's interview recordings and in our interview of him. Therefore, we conclude that the evidence does not establish that Mr. Biden willfully disclosed national defense information to Zwonitzer. The passages Mr. Biden read to Zwonitzer on April 10th, 2017 contain information that remains classified up to the secret level. Do you understand? He retained and disclosed classified information 
information to a third party that did not have security clearance, which is a clear violation of the law. But when you look at the intent side in this circumstance, the interview that he was conducted had many instances where he literally had demonstrated genuine gaps in his memory that he basically didn't know what he was doing like he didn't know that it was classified information he was too senile to recognize that the information that he was delivering his wanted sir was classified information because if he's not senile in that circumstance he's having a kid rock moment okay he's having a trump kid rock moment in that circumstance where he's basically willingly giving up classified information to someone who does not have a top secret security clearance to be able to handle classified intelligence situation we're meeting from the summer of 2015 immediately before discussing the notebook entry mr biden discussed extremely personal notebook entries touching on the illness and death of his son Bo, its effects on the family, and the wrenching decision about whether to run for president in 2016. After discussing these highly emotional topics, Mr. Biden turned immediately to the notebook entry from the summer of 2015 situation room meeting, which began on the very next page of the notebook, and read additional portions of the entry nearly verbatim, including the portions of the entry he read to Zwonitzer during the February 16th, 2017 meeting. The passengers Mr. Biden read to Zwonitzer on April 10th, 2017 contain information that remains classified up to the secret level. The Afghanistan documents were ultimately found in Mr. Biden's Delaware home in a badly damaged box in a garage near a collapsed dog crate, a dog bed, a Zappos box, an empty bucket, a broken lamp wrapped with duct tape, potting soil, and synthetic firewood. Do you think they dropped Biden? Dude, they didn't drop Biden before. Why would they drop him now? No, we're stuck. We're riding with Biden, whether we like it or not, folks. Matty Iglesias is mad. This you appoint a Republican special counsel to investigate. He investigates. The investigation does not reveal a crime. So instead of saying all good, he goes off and does partisan political hits. Now sit down, young folks, and I'll tell you how we got here. It all started when Bill Clinton walked across the tarmac. I don't like that he's saying that you appointed a Republican special counsel to investigate. He investigates. His investigation does not reveal a crime. No, his investigation did reveal a crime, just not one that is like ready to be prosecuted on conditions that you do not want to repeat on here because it goes against your arguments that Brandon is actually actually totally perfectly mentally cognizant and mentally coherent that's the reason why he's upset now you can argue on the basis of whether or not the crimes that they're talking about are severe right because they're not but if you argue that the crimes that he's talking about are not severe then you actually basically remove one element of the trump classified document saga that it's like not sufficiently severe enough crimes that trump was engaging in on the document saga that he engaged in obstruction of justice over the special counsel released their final today about their look into my handling of classified documents. I was pleased to see they reached a conclusion I believed and knew all along they would. That there are no... <laughs> that my mental faculties are not all right. Special counsel acknowledged I cooperated completely. I did not throw up any roadblocks. I sought no delays. In fact, I was so determined to give special counsel what they needed, I went forward with a five-hour in-person interview over the two days of October the 9th, 8th and 9th last year, even though Israel had just been attacked. Bro, even though Israel had just been attacked? Brother, what are you talking about? What is that? He's like, man, you don't understand. My heart bled. <laughs> I was in an emotional moment for myself. Israel had been attacked when Bo had died. <laughs> This is actually pretty coherent for Brandon. He's actually doing a good job. Got to hand it to him. The two days of October the 9th, 8th and 9th last year, even though Israel had just been attacked by Hamas on the 7th. I was in the middle of handling an international crisis. He got that good dude they gave him the good drugs today he got that good adrenochrome here okay whatever kind of cocktail they had it was hitting he did a good job i can't believe that the way that we are analyzing the leader of the free world the most powerful person on the planet is like how mentally coherent he can present himself in 59 second increments that is insane that is insane jesus christ oh yeah bradley moss esquire says the current president has a poor memory the former president has a poor memory has been indicted four times was found liable for sexual assault oversees a company convicted of tax fraud and unleashed a mob on january 6 give me the well-meaning elderly man it's so jover this kind of basically shows me that like the democratic party can literally do everything that the republican party is doing and liberals will still go yeah we're still voting for d we're still voting d baby no matter what that's it i get it like they could literally be like we are adopting the republican party's agenda 100 percent. okay not saying that they have by the way i don't think they have but even if they did there would still be plenty of people who are like no i'm voting blue no matter who baby it's team sports i think the immigration stuff and like the biden mishandling of the immigration 
Commission on the messaging front, on the legislative front, is a perfect, clear demonstration that these guys don't care because they keep looking and going, well, the alternative is even worse. On the issue of immigration, it doesn't matter if the alternative is worse. If the current guy that you voted so he doesn't do the alternative is literally doing the alternative is worse moment. Like, what do you mean? The distinction is not whether or not the person that has like incredibly restrictive white nativist, inhumane anti-immigrant policies has a D next to their name or an R next to their name. If that's the only distinction on that issue, then there is no distinction. Robert Hur clearly decided to go down the Jim Comey path of filing his report absolving Biden of criminal activity with ad hominem attacks, like calling him an elderly man with poor memory, not remotely subtle, just a right-wing hit job from within Biden's own DOJ, wild. Robert Hur's interviews with Biden were on October 8th and October 9th, days if not hours after the October 7th Hamas attack. If he seemed distracted, there's a pretty good reason why that doesn't require her to speculate on what conclusion a fictitious jury might have. Okay, then file charges then? Like, what are they saying? This is a double bind for that reason. It's a double bind because then it's like, okay, well then he has enough to file and, and actually go to court. Like he was actually perfectly mentally cognizant. And also another part of his mental cognition is from 2017 when he revealed classified information to a interviewer who did not have top secret classification. So what's up? It was in 2017. Was there another Hamas attack? Like what the going on? You can't make this argument. That's why I said it's like a perfect double bind. It's super cooked. Wait, what? Yes. Part of their findings included retaining and revealing classified information to unauthorized individuals. And in the year 2017, according to this, her report that we just read, okay, we read pieces of it at least on Twitter before people go, Hassan, you are reading Twitter threads. Yes, the Twitter threads are pieces of the actual report from literal journalists covering it. I can't believe I have to specify this too for all the weirdos in here. That report found that in 2017, Biden also, in the 345-page Justice Department finding, said that Biden actually gave information, classified information, to a person without security clearance. So what about then? Did he have poor memory back then? Well, that's what the report says. Special counsel Biden showed diminished faculties and faulty memory in both interview recordings with his ghostwriter and when they interviewed him, during which the report said he had gotten worse. Could he remember when he was vice president or when his son died? That's in the report. How do you think his faculty decline compares to Trump's? I've said this before. Trump is insane, but coherent. Biden is not coherent. That's the issue. Biden, or at least the Biden administration, still can like exhibit a, a little bit of rational behavior. Here's why this should never be an issue. If Biden wasn't running, this would not be an issue. But because Biden is running, this is an issue. And this will continue to be the issue. And unfortunately, it's a very easy one that they can keep hitting Biden on. Because Biden is going to keep doing gaffes. He's going to keep doing gaffes because unfortunately... This this is the one thing that time won't heal for Biden because he's competing against father time. And the more time passes, the more he ages. So these are the high notes from the council report. Officials said in a report they would still have decided not to pursue charges even if current Justice Department guidance permitted charging a sitting president. Attorney General Merrick, uh, Merrick General, Attorney General Merrick General, <laughs> Attorney General Merrick General. That's funny. Okay, Washington Post, democracy dies in the darkness. <laughs> what's happening? Is, is there not enough Jeff Bezos money? What's, what's going on? Hire your dog was how do you do this appointed her as a special counsel in january 2023 to investigate the matter after biden's aides said they discovered the materials when they searched his home and office as they reported their discovery to officials a separate investigation was already underway into former president donald trump's alleged mishandling and classified documents a probe that led to 40 criminal counts against trump including willful retention of national defense secrets and obstruction of justice the report portrayed biden as a well-intentioned but sometimes hapless and forgetful a man who has access to classified materials throughout his government career biden saved notebooks from his time as vp that contain classified information according to the report and use those notebooks to craft his 2017 memoir with a ghost writer. The special counsel noted the published books ultimately did not contain classified information. And this part is important. In 2017, he was still leaking classified information to a person without top secret security clearance who happened to be his ghost writer for his book. An overlooked part of the analysis that you're hearing from a lot of liberals who keep talking about like, well, it was right after October 7th where he forgot when Bo Biden died. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, but 
but this report also looks into 2017. Some of the classified documents were classified top secret, sensitive compartmented information, a category reserved for particularly sensitive material. They included papers that related to Afghanistan, including a 2009 memo he sent to then President Obama in a last ditch effort to persuade him not to send additional troops to Afghanistan, the report said. The report noted that in a recorded conversation with a ghostwriter in early 2017, shortly after his term as vice president ended, Biden said he had just found all the classified stuff downstairs. At the time, Biden was living in a rented home in Virginia. But officials said in the report that it would be hard to convince a jury that Biden retained the information willfully, a necessary basis for conviction. That's because, according to officials, his memory was significantly limited and that it wouldn't have been all that notable for Biden to discover classified information in his home less than a month after he left office. Mr. Biden's memory was significantly limited both during his recorded interviews with the ghostwriter in 2017 in his interview with our office in 2023. Garland said that at the time, the special counsel appointments were necessary because both Trump and Biden had indicated they would be running for president in 2024. It was seven years ago, let it go. No, I love when people leak top secret classified intel. I'm very consistent on the matter, especially if it's like wrongdoings of the American government. And I also personally don't give a about mishandling classified documents time and time again, consistently during the Trump However, of course, I'm still going to enjoy the show. But let's be for real. The major problem with the Trump situation is that when he was found to be retaining classified documents, he refused to give them up. He even went as far as to tell the prosecutors that he had given them up while still retaining the classified documents. About their look into my handling of classified documents. I was pleased to see he reached a firm conclusion that no charges should be brought against me in this case. This was an exhaustive investigation going back more than 40 years, even into the 1970s when I was still a new United States senator. Uh-oh. <clears throat> the special counsel acknowledged I cooperated completely. I did not throw up any roadblocks. I sought no delays. In fact, I was so determined to give the special counsel what he needed, I went forward with a five-hour in-person, five-hour in-person interview over two days on October the 8th and 9th of last year, even though Israel had just been attacked by Hamas on the 7th and I was very occupied. <laughs> I was in the middle of handling an international crisis. I was especially pleased to see special counsel make clear the stark distinction and difference between this case and Mr. Trump's case. The special counsel wrote, and I quote, several material distinctions between Mr. Trump's case and Mr. He's Biden's not are clear, continuing to quote, most notably, after giving multiple chances to return Will they documents, talk about the part where they say he's like decrepit? Mr. Trump allegedly did the opposite. According to the indictment, he not only refused to return the documents they called me for senile, many months, Jack. he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it. In contrast, we went on to say Mr. Biden turned in classified documents to the National Archives and the Department of Justice, consented to the search of multiple locations, including his home, sat for a voluntary interview, and in other ways cooperated with the investigation, end of quote. I've seen the headlines since the report was released about my willful retention of documents. This, these assertions are not only misleading, they're just plain wrong. On page 215, if you had a chance, I know it's a long, it's a thick document. On the page 215, document. the report of the special counsel found the exact opposite. Here's what he wrote. There is in fact a shortage of evidence that I willfully retain classified materials related to Afghanistan. On page 12, the special counsel also wrote for another document, the decision to decline criminal charges was straightforward. The evidence suggests that Mr. Biden did not willfully retain these documents. Will they talk the about how they think he's I senile? Willfully retain these documents. Will they talk about how addition, he's senile? I know there's some attention paid to some language in the report about my recollection of events. There's Ooh. even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Oh, he's Frankly, mad. When I was asked the question, I thought to myself, wasn't any of their damn business. Simple truth is I sat for a five-hour interview over two days of events going back 40 years. At the same time I was managing an international crisis, their task was to make a decision about whether to move forward with charges in this case. That's their decision to make. That's the council's decision to make. That's his job. And they decided not to move forward. For any extraneous commentary, they don't know what they're talking about. It has no place in this report. The bottom line is the matter is now closed. I'm going to continue what I've always focused on, my job of being president of the United States of America. Now, thank you, and I'll take some questions. President oh, sh thing the special counsel said in he his said report is died. that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. 
I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out. is your memory, and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. That's uh, that's you that's. Your memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, president. No, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory. Take a look at what I've done since I've become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was uh -oh. going on. Uh oh. Mr. President, Mr. President, this is not. It's kind of a wild thing for him to do. He's being a wild card. Uh oh. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, criminal liability today. Do you take? Bro, this is like what I tell people all the time. Don't feed the trolls. He's feeding the trolls. I take responsibility for not having seen exactly what my staff was doing. There's, it goes in and points out. Things that appeared in my garage, things that came out of my home, things that were moved, were moved not by me, but my staff. But my staff. For months when you were asked about your age, you would respond with the words, watch me. Watch Many American people have been watching, and they uh -oh. have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your is judgment. To public that is oh not God. the judgment of the press. Oh, my God, he's yelling at reporters they individually about how he's not old. Mr. President, in December, you yeah. told me that you believe there are many other Democrats who could defeat Donald Trump. So why does it have to be you now? What, what is your answer to that question? Because I'm the most question? qualified person in this country be president of the United States and finish the job I started. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Why are you confusing the names of world leaders? Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. I did not share classified information. I did not share it. With your ghostwriter. With my ghostwriter. Bro, not. what is Guaranteed he doing? But Dude, whatever, Dark Brandon Unleashed. Bro, this is like when I start yelling at all my haters and pull them up to debate them. The fact of the matter is what I didn't want repeated. I didn't want him to know and I didn't read it to him was I had written a long memorandum to President Obama why we should not be in, this, in Afghanistan. And I was of this, uh, multiple pages. And so what I was referring to, I said classified, I should have said it was, should be private because it was a contact between the president and the vice president as to what was going on. That's what he was referring to. It was not classified information in that document. That was not classified. <laughs> Call them me. When you look back at this incident, is there anything you would do differently now? And do you think that a special prosecutor should have been appointed in the first place in both of these cases? First of all, what I would have done is oversee the transfer of the material that was in my office. I should have done that. If I go back, I didn't have the responsibility huh. to do that. That was my staff was supposed to do that, and they referenced that in the report. And my staff did not do it in the way that, for example, I didn't know how half the boxes got in my garage until I found out staff gathered them up, put them together, and took them to the garage in my home. And all the stuff that was in my home was in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked. It was in my house. It wasn't out in like in Mar-a-Lago in a public place where and none of it was high classified didn't have any of that red stuff on it you know if he had a stroke right now none this would dramatically so change everything due to the to medical grade cocaine work. that he I has coursing through his veins archives. now what was the last part of your question whether a special counsel should have been appointed in this case and in the case of your rival president former president I think a special counsel should have been appointed and the reason I think a special counsel should have been appointed is because I did not want to be in a position that they looked at Trump and weren't going to look at me, just like they looked at the vice president. And the fact is they made a firm conclusion. I did not break the law, period. Thank you all very, very much. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. The media is going to eat him, dude. Oh, oh, he's back. He's back for more. Oh, he said, I got that dog in me. One more. You, as you know, that conduct of the response in the Gaza Strip. Oh, no. Has been um, over the top. I think what? that, uh, as you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow... CC, President of Mexico? That's Egypt, dog! I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. Oh! I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. I've been pushing really hard, really hard oh! to get humanitarian assistance into Gaza. 
There are a lot of innocent people who are starving, a lot of innocent people who are in trouble and dying. And it's got to stop, number one. Number two, I was also in a position that I'm the guy that made the case that we have to do much more to increase the amount of material going in, including fuel, including other items. I've been on the phone with the Qataris, I've been on the phone with the Egyptians, I've been on the phone with the Saudis to get as much aid as we possibly can into Gaza. There are innocent people, innocent women and children who are also in bad, badly in need of help. And so that's what we're pushing. And I'm pushing very hard now to deal with this hostage ceasefire because, as a, you know, I've been working tirelessly in this deal. How can I say this without revealing it? To lead to a sustained pause in the fighting, in the actions taking place in, in the Gaza Strip. Because I think if we can get the delay for that, uh, the initial delay, I think that uh, we would be able to uh, extend that uh, so that we could increase the prospect that this fighting in Gaza changes. There's also negotiations. You may recall, in the very beginning, right after right before Hamas attacked. I was in contact with the Saudis and others to work out a deal where they would recognize Israel's right to exist, let them make them part of the Middle East, and recognize them fully in return for certain things that the United States would commit to do. And the commitment to, that we were proposed to do related to two, uh, two, two items, I'm not gonna go in detail, but one of them was to deal with uh, um, the protection against their arch enemy to the northwest, a northeast, I should say. The second one, by providing ammunition and material for them to defend themselves. Coincidentally, that's the time frame when this broke out. I have no proof what I'm about to say, but it's not unreasonable to suspect that the Hamas understood what was about to take place and wanted to break it up before it happened. Wait, what? He said Hamas knew that the Abraham Accords were coming to completion and that's why they did it. Is that what he's saying? With no proof whatsoever? While also openly recognizing that he's got no, said I got no evidence for this. However, he did openly say I never gave classified information up. He pulled a Trumpian ass move. He did some Trump saying like, oh, I didn't reveal or leak classified information. He had one major flub where he said the Mexican president Sisi when he was talking about Egypt. That part is not good. 100%. He keeps doing stuff like that. I'm shocked that he didn't do more of it, to be honest. But him yelling at reporters could actually play well. It could actually play well. He looked more dynamic than he ever has in months now he still looks old as hell obviously up there but i don't know i think that him yelling at reporters might play well however it might also backfire on him because i think that like when you engage with the media in that way they're gonna keep digging they're gonna dig their heels in and they're gonna start going crazy mode over like why did biden say this is biden turning just like turning into trump that sort of it's crazy when you see him like off script when he like goes back for the second and you can just see his like synapses no longer are firing. That part is awful. But the first yelling part, depending on how what they cover and what they choose to pay attention to, I don't know him yelling at reporters, not a bad look, especially when your major propaganda against you, like your biggest weakness is how not dynamic you are and how old you are.